CNN reports that new research has shown that e-cigarette flavoring may be dangerous to your health. CNN reports that new research has shown that e-cigarette flavoring may be dangerous to your health. According to a new study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, according to a new study published in the Journal in the Journal of the e, of the American College of Cardiology. The flavoring can damage cells that line your blood vessels and eventually damage your heart. The flavoring can damage can damage cells that line to line deny your blood vessels and eventually damage your heart. The study adds to a growing body of evidence that the flavored e-liquids used in vapes can. The study adds to a gro- to a growing body of evidence that the flavored e-liquids used in vapes. Can hinder human cells' ability to survive and function. Can hinder human cells' ability to survive and function and function. The authors say these changes, some observed in the absence of nicotine, are known to play a role in heart disease. The authors say these changes, some observed, some observed in the absence of nicotine, are known to play a role in heart disease. CNN reports that new research has shown that e-cigarette flavoring may be dangerous to your health. According to a new study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, the flavoring can damage cells that line your blood vessels and eventually damage your heart. The study adds to a growing body of evidence that the flavored e-liquids used in vapes can hinder human cells' ability to survive and function. The authors say these changes, some observed in the absence of nicotine, are known to play a role in heart disease. CNN reports that new research has shown that e-cigarette flavoring may be dangerous to your health, according to a new study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology. The flavoring can damage cells that line your blood vessels, blood vessels, and eventually damage your heart. The study adds to a growing body of of evidence that the flavored e-liquids used in vapes can hinder human cells' ability to survive and to survive and function. The authors say these changes, some observed in the absence of nicotine, are known to play a role in heart disease. CNN reports that new research has shown that e-cigarette flavoring may be dangerous to your health. CNN reports that new research has shown that e-cigarette flavoring may be dangerous to your health. According to a new study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, the According to a new study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, the flavoring can damage cells that line your blood vessels and eventually damage your heart. The flavoring can damage cells that line your blood vessels and eventually damage your heart. The study adds to a growing body of evidence that the flavored e-liquids used in vapes. The study adds to a growing body of evidence that the flavored flavored e-liquids used in vapes. Hinder human cells' ability to survive and function. Can hinder human cells' ability to survive and function. The authors say these changes, some observed in the absence of nicotine, are known to play a role in heart disease. The authors say these changes, these changes, some observed in the, in the absence of nicotine, are known to play a role in heart disease. CNN reports that new research has shown that e-cigarette flavoring may be dangerous to your health. According to a new study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, the flavoring can damage cells that line your blood vessels and eventually damage your heart. The study adds to a growing body of evidence that the flavored e-liquids used in vapes can hinder human cells' ability to survive and function. The authors say these changes, some observed in the absence of nicotine, are known to play a role in heart disease. CNN reports that new research has shown that e-cigarette flavoring may be dangerous to your health, according to a new study pub- published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology. The flavoring can damage cells that line your blood vessels and eventually damage your heart. The study adds to a growing body of, ev- of evidence that flavor e-liquids used in vapes can hinder human cells' ability uh, to survive and function. The authors say these changes, some observed in the absence of nicotine, are known to play a role in heart disease. CNN reports that new research has shown that e-cigarette flavoring may be dangerous to your health, according to a new study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology.
CNN reports that new research has shown that e-cigarette flavoring may be dangerous to your health. CNN reports that new research has shown that cigarette that e-cigarette flavoring may be dangerous to your health. According to a new study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, the According to a new study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, the flavoring can damage cells that line your blood vessels and eventually damage your heart. The flavoring can damage damage cells that line your blood vessels and eventually damage your heart. The study adds to a growing body of evidence that the flavored e liquids used in vapes can. The study adds to a growing body of evidence that the flavored e liquids used in vapes. Hinder human cells' ability to survive and function. Can hinder human cells' ability to survive and function. The authors say these changes, some observed in the absence of nicotine, are known to play a role in heart disease. The authors say these say these changes, some observed in the absence of nicotine, are known to play a role in heart disease. CNN reports that new research has shown that e-cigarette flavoring may be dangerous to your health. According to a new study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, the flavoring can damage cells that line your blood vessels and eventually damage your heart. The study adds to a growing body of evidence that the flavored e liquids used in vapes can hinder human cells' ability to survive and function. The authors say these changes, some observed in the absence of nicotine, are known to play a role. In heart disease. CNN reports that new research has shown that e-cigarette flavoring may be dangerous to your health. According to a new study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardi Cardiology, the flavoring can damage cells that line your blood vessels and eventually damage your heart. The study adds to a growing body of, of evidence that the flavored e-liquids used in vapes can hinder human cells' ability、uh, to survive and function. They also say these changes, some observed in the absence of nicotine, are known to play a role in heart disease. Reuters reports French President Emmanuel Macron said it was not the aim of France to block Huawei, nor to launch any form of technological war. The day after the U.S. government moved to blacklist the Chinese telecom giant. Reuters, Reuters reports France,、uh, French President Emmanuel Macron said it was not the end of France to block Huawei, nor to launch any form of technological war.、Uh, a day after the U.S. government moved to blacklist the Chinese telecoms giant, Macron said on Thursday, "Our perspective is not to block Huawei or any company. It is to preserve our national security and European sovereignty." Macron said on Thursday, "Our perspective is not to block Huawei or any company. It is to preserve our national security and European sovereignty." But I think launching now a technological war or a trade war is not appropriate. But I think launching now a technological war or or trade war is not appropriate. Reuters reports French President Emmanuel Macron said it was not the aim of France to block Huawei, nor to launch any form of technological war. The day after the U.S. government moved to blacklist the Chinese telecom giant, Macron said on Thursday, "Our perspective is not to block Huawei or any company. It is to preserve our national security and European sovereignty. But I think launching now a technological war or a trade war is not appropriate." Reuters reports French President Emmanuel Macron is said it was not the end of France to block Huawei, nor to launch any form of technological war. A day after the U.S. government moved to blacklist the Chinese telecom giant, Macron said on Thursday, "Our perspective is not to block Huawei or any company. It is to preserve our national security and European sovereignty. But I think launching now a technological war or a trade war is not appropriate." Reuters reports French President Emmanuel Macron said it was not the aim of France to block Huawei, nor to launch any form of technological war. The day after the U.S. government moved to blacklist the Chinese telecom giant, Reuters reports French President Emmanuel Macron said it was not the end of France to block Huawei, nor to launch any form of technological war. A day after the U.S.、Uh, government moved to blacklist the Chinese telecom giant. Macron said on Thursday, "Our perspective is not to block Huawei or any company. It is to preserve our national security and European sovereignty." 
Making a stand on Thursday, our perspective is not to block Huawei or any any company. It is it is to preserve our national security and European sovereignty. But I think launching now a technological war or a trade war is not appropriate. But I think that launching now a technological war or a trade war is not appropriate. Reuters reports French President Emmanuel Macron said it was not the aim of France to block Huawei, nor to launch any form of technological war. A day after the U.S. government moved to blacklist the Chinese telecom giant, Macron said on Thursday, "Our perspective is not to block Huawei or any company. It is to preserve our national security and European sovereignty. But I think launching now a technological war or a trade war is not appropriate." Reuters report French President Emmanuel Macron said it was not the end of France to block Huawei nor to launch any form of technological war. A day after the U.S. government moved to blacklist the Chinese telecoms giant, Macron said on Thursday, "Our perspective is not to block Huawei or any company. It is to preserve our national security and European sovereignty. But I think launching now a te- technological war or a trade war is not appropriate." <laughs> Reuters reports French President Emmanuel Macron said it was not the aim of France to block Huawei, nor to launch any form of technological war. The day after the U.S. government moved to blacklist the Chinese telecom giant, Reuters reports French President Emmanuel. Emmanuel Macron said it was not the end of France to block Huawei, nor to launch any form of technological war. A day after the U.S. Uh, government to move to blacklist the Chinese telecom giant. <laughs> Said on Thursday, our perspective is not to block Huawei or any company. It is to preserve our national security and European sovereignty. Macron said on Thursday, our perspective is not to block Huawei or any company. It is to preserve our national security and European sovereignty. But I think launching now a technological war or a trade war is not appropriate. But I think launching now a technological war or trade war is not appropriate. <laughs> Reuters reports French President Emmanuel Macron said it was not the aim of France to block Huawei, nor to launch any form of technological war. The day after the U.S. government moved to blacklist the Chinese telecom giant, Macron said on Thursday, "Our perspective is not to block Huawei or any company. It is to preserve our national security and European sovereignty. But I think launching now a technological war or a trade war is not appropriate." Reuters reports French President Emmanuel Macron said it was not the end of France to block Huawei nor to launch any form of technological war. A day after the U.S.、Uh, government moved to blacklist the Chinese telecom giant, Macron said on Thursday, "Our perspective is not to block Huawei or any company. It is to preserve our national security and European sovereignty. But I think launching now a technological war or trade war is not appropriate." Existing for the last 500 million years, squid are generally not talked about. Despite existing for the last 500 million years,、uh, squid are generally not talked about. And when they do make headlines, it's usually shock and horror stories. And when they do make headlines, it's usually shock and horror stories. According to Mother Nature Network, squid are actually the super geniuses of the sea. According to Mother Nature Network, squid are squid are actually the super geniuses of the sea. For starters, squid and their cephalopods can overwrite their genetic code as they see fit. For starters, squid and squid and other cephalopods can overwrite their genetic code as as they see fit. This is possible because DNA isn't the boss of squid. Instead, squid interfere with the code as it's being transmitted by RNA. This is possible because DNA isn't the boss of squid. Instead, squid in- interfere with the code as it's been transmitted by RNA. Squid have also proved to be highly adaptable during climate change. Squid, squid have also proved to be highly ad- adaptable、uh, during climate change. While other species are going extinct or nearing extinction amid the crisis, the squid population is actually booming. While other species are going extinct or near or nearing extinction amid the crisis,、uh, the squid popula- population is actually booming. This could have something to do with their remarkable gene editing skills. This could have this could have some thing、uh, to do with their remarkable gene editing skills. One biologist. 
said they diverged in evolution so long ago from us. When biologists say they diverged in evolution so long ago from us, they're basically the most advanced behaviorally animals of their kind of lineage. They're basically the most advanced behaviorally and animals of their kinds of lin of kind of lin lineage. <laughs> Are generally not talked about, and when they do make headlines, it's usually shock and horror stories. According to Mother Nature Network, squid are actually the super geniuses of the sea. For starters, squid and their cephalopods can overwrite their genetic code as they see fit. This is possible because DNA isn't the boss of squid. Instead, squid interfere with the code as it's being transmitted by RNA. Squid have also proved to be highly adaptable during climate change. While other species are going extinct or nearing extinction amid the crisis, the squid population is actually booming. This could have something to do with their remarkable gene editing skills. One biologist said they diverged in evolution so long ago from us. They're basically the most advanced behaviorally animals of their kind of lineage. Despite existing for the last 500 million years, squid are generally not talked about, and when they do make headlines, it's, it's usually shock and horror stories. According to Modern Age World Network, squid are actually the super geniuses of the sea. For, for starters, squid and other cephalopods can overwrite their genetic, genetic code as they see fit. Uh, this is possible because DNA isn't the boss of squid. Uh, instead, squid interfere with the code as it's been transmitted by RNA. Squid have also proved to be highly adaptable during climate change, while other species are going are going extinct or nearing extinction amid the crisis. Uh, the squid population is actually boom booming. This could have something to do with their remarkable gene editing skills. One biologist say they diverged in evolution so long ago from us. They are basically the most advanced behaviorally and the most of their kind of lineage. Despite existing for the last 500 million years, squid are generally not talked about. Despite existing for the last 500 million years, squid are, squid are generally not talked about. And when they do make headlines, it's usually shock and horror stories. And when they do make headlines, it's actually it's usually shock and horror stories. According to Mother Nature Network, squid are actually the super geniuses of the sea. According to Mother Nature Network, squid are actually the super geniuses of the sea. For starters, squid and their cephalopods can overwrite their genetic code as they see fit. For starters, squid and our and our cephalopods can overwrite their genetic code as they see fit. This is possible because DNA isn't the boss of squid. Instead, squid interfere with the code as it's being transmitted by RNA. This is possible because DNA isn't the boss of squid. Instead, squid interfere with the code as it's been transmitted by RNA. Squid have also proved to be highly adaptable during climate change. Squid had all Squid have also proved to be highly adaptable during climate change. While other species are going extinct or nearing extinction amid the crisis, the squid population is actually booming. While other species are going extinct or nearing extinction amid the crisis, the squid population is actually booming. This could have something to do with their remarkable gene editing skills. This could have something to do with their remarkable gene editing skills. One biologist said they diverged in evolution so long ago from us. One biologist said they diverged in evolution so long ago from us. They're basically the most advanced behaviorally animals of their kind of lineage. They're basically the most advanced behaviorally uh, animals of their kind of lineage. Despite existing for the last 500 million years, squid are generally not talked about. And when they do make headlines, it's usually shock and horror stories. According to Mother Nature Network, squid are actually the super geniuses of the sea. For starters, squid and their cephalopods can overwrite their genetic code as they see fit. This is possible because DNA isn't the boss of squid. Instead, squid interfere with the code as it's being transmitted by RNA. Squid have also proved to be highly adaptable during climate change. While other species are going extinct or nearing extinction amid the crisis, the squid population is actually booming. This could have something to do with their remarkable gene editing skills. 
One biologist said they diverged in evolution so long ago from us. They're basically the most advanced behaviorally animals of their kind of lineage. Despite existing for the last 500 million years, squid are actually squid are generally not talked about. And when they do make headlines, it's it's usually shock and horror stories. According to Modern Nature Network,、uh, squid are actually the super geniuses of the sea. For starters, squid and other cephalopods can override their genetic code as they see fit. Yeah, this is possible because DNA isn't the boss of squid. Instead, squid interfere with the code、uh, as it's been transmitted by RNA. Squid have also proved to be highly adaptable during climate change. While other species are going extinct or nearing extinction amid the crisis, the squid population is actually booming. This could have something to do with their remarkable gene editing skills. One biologist said、uh, they、uh, they diverged in evolution so long ago from us. Well, they are basically the most advanced behaviorally and most of their kind of lineage. Despite existing for the last 500 million years, squid are generally not talked about, and when they do make headlines, it's、uh, despite existing for the last 500 million years, squid are generally not talked about. And when they do make headlines, it's usually shock and horror stories. And when they do make and when they do make headlo- headlines,、uh, it's usually shock and horror stories. According to Mother Nature Network, squid are actually the super geniuses of the sea. According to Mother Nature Network, squid are actually the super geniuses of the sea. For starters, squid and their cephalopods can override their genetic code as they see fit. For starters, squid and other cephalopods can override their genetic code as they see fit. This is possible because DNA isn't the boss of squid. Instead, squid interfere with the code as it's being transmitted by RNA. This is possible because DNA isn't the boss of squid. Instead, squid interfere with the code as it's being transmitted by RNA. Squid have also proved to be highly adaptable during climate change. Squid have also proved to be highly adaptable during high. Doing climate change. While other species are going extinct or nearing extinction amid the crisis, the squid population is actually booming. While other species are going extinct or nearing extinction amid the crisis, the squid population is actually booming. This could have something to do with their remarkable gene editing skills. This could have something to do with their remarkable gene acted editing skills. One biologist said they diverged in evolution so long ago from us. One biologist said they diverged in evolution so long ago from us. They're basically the most advanced behaviorally animals of their kind of lineage. They're basically the most advanced behaviorally adva- animals of their kind of lineage. Despite existing for the last 500 million years, squid are generally not talked about. And when they do make headlines, it's usually shock and horror stories. According to Mother Nature Network, squid are actually the super geniuses of the sea. For starters, squid and their cephalopods can override their genetic code as they see fit. This is possible because DNA isn't the boss of squid. Instead, squid interfere with the code as it's being transmitted by RNA. Squid have also proved to be highly adaptable during climate change. While other species are going extinct or nearing extinction amid the crisis, the squid population is actually booming. This could have something to do with their remarkable gene editing skills. One biologist said they diverged in evolution so long ago from us. They're basically the most advanced behaviorally animals of their kind of lineage. Despite existing for the last 500 million years, squid are generally not talked about. And when they do make headlines, it's it's usually shock and horror stories. According to Modern Nature Network, squid are actually the super geniuses of the sea. For starters, squid and other cephalopods can override their genetic code as they see fit. This is possible be- because DNA isn't the boss of squid. Instead, squid interfere with the code as、uh, uh, as it's been transmitted by DNA. Squid have also proved to be highly adaptable during climate change. While other species are going extinct or nearing extinction amid the crisis, the squid population is actually booming. This could have something to do with their remarkable gene editing skills. One biologist said、uh, they diverged in evolution so long ago from us. They are basically the most advanced behaviorally animals of their kind of lineage. <laughs>